washed the truck, or I washed the truck, and uh, just pulled it inside, dried it off, and now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of the backstory, how I got the truck, how I even found the truck. What's up everybody, Solomon here. I'm going to show you guys my 1963 Ford B100 that I imported from Argentina a little while ago. I'm going to go over the whole truck, show you guys everything that it currently has, and uh, maybe tell you a little bit of the plans that I have for it. So yeah, let's check it out. So right now, the truck is completely as I got it. I haven't done anything to it yet. Haven't even washed it. So, it's got two barn doors, a whole bunch of stickers. It's uh, definitely rough around the edges. I'm not gonna say it isn't. But the good part is the whole front end of this truck doors forward is exactly the same as an F100 of the era. So I've got a couple of those and parts are not that difficult to get for the F100. And then the back end of the truck isn't terrible, terrible. I'm gonna probably end up making new doors because these are a little bit shot and uh, I might want a little bit of bigger windows. This is how you get in for right now. system put on it but functions so they call it a carryall or carrozada down in Argentina and it's got two rows of seats I could probably put a third row in it if I really wanted to but I don't think I'm gonna want to and the interior just like an F100. So literally everything's the same except over here it's in kilometers and it's in Spanish which I think is badass. But the truck really is in great shape overall. Let me show you guys under the hood. It's got a 292Y block in it. Factory for the American trucks. drives I haven't put any of the fluids back in it since it got imported so it doesn't start up right now and I plan on doing a motor swap really really soon so that's why I don't really care to get this motor running or not but right now we're gonna wash the truck and uh, pull it into the shop so yeah dried it off and now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of the backstory how I got the truck how I even found the truck so in about 2014 I started an Instagram page called Unibody Union because I had a Ford Unibody and uh, there was just nothing out there and uh, I started that and then a few years later I was already big into it posting I had a bunch of different Unibodies and I got a message from a guy named Adrian he sent me some pictures of this truck and he said hey this is my truck in Argentina if you want to post it up it's like a unibody so I never saw something like this before and I thought it was really really cool so me and him became friends and I asked him a couple times if he would sell it and he never considered selling it 
but he told me that if he ever does decide to sell the truck, he'll let me know. So fast forward until the summer of 2019, or really spring of 2019, he sends me a message and he says, hey, I'm considering selling the truck and I wanna give you the first shot at buying it. So he told me how much he wanted for it and it was a little bit out of my price range. So I kind of left it at that. A few months later, now it's like August, July or August, he messaged me back and says, hey, check it out, the Argentinian dollar fell. I still want the same amount of money in Argentinian money, but your money is a little bit stronger here. So I did the conversion, it made sense, and I bought the truck. Then I need to figure out how I'm gonna get it from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Miami, Florida. So I hit up one of my friends, Miami Rust Garage, and uh, Martin is Argentinian. So I figured, hey, maybe he knows somebody that does the import-export, and he did. He put me in touch with his cousin, Lola, who helped me, guided me through the process. It was about seven months it took to do the import, and it was really, really annoying and very expensive. But the truck's here now, titled in the US, and uh, it's the only one the only B100 in the United States from 1963, period. Um, a lot of the like dense side 70s models B100 came over from Mexico. You could get them uh, fairly easy, but these slicks are really difficult. He actually, the story on the truck is really cool. I'll get into it in a second, but I thought it's really cool that I have the only one. And um, it's not like it matters or not, but I'm gonna keep this one for a long time. I wanna use it as a family hauler. I wanna go cross country in it. And it's gonna be like my daily driver hot rod. Um, but a little bit of history on this particular truck. This truck was bought brand new in 1963 by Adrian's father, I believe, and he was working for an ambulance service. So the truck originally was an ambulance and I actually have some photos of it being loaded um, back then 63 I'll put into the video so it stayed in the family all its life and it's been changed and modified and painted a whole bunch of times and uh, Adrian used it a lot I can I, I'll put some photos of him enjoying the truck as well and he's into hot rods and stuff like that um, now that I have the truck I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff I'm doing a motor and transmission swap full front and rear suspension brakes wheels tires interior audio basically going to go over the whole truck but i'm going to leave all of the original or not original but whatever paint is on it for now i'm going to leave i'm going to drive the truck until i finish all the other modifications then i'm going to blow the whole thing apart and get it painted but i don't plan on doing that for a while the truck is it's got a lot of bondo on the front end um the paint's bubbling and chipping all over the place but i don't really care uh it just makes me not worried about driving it so that's basically the plans for it. Uh, we're gonna start tearing into it pretty soon. I'm not gonna be able to post all of the videos of doing the work for a while because I'm the tech editor for F100 Builder's Guide and I can't put out these photos before we put out the magazine. And all the stuff that's gonna be happening to this truck is gonna be in the next issue, I think, of F100 Builder's Guide. So I gotta get the work done. I'm gonna record all the videos, but they're not gonna come out for probably three to six months. So we'll see uh, about all of that. And, uh, but whatever I can post, I will post. And you guys could follow my Instagram, at Solomon Lunger. You can follow my shop Instagram, Solo Speed Shop. And uh, I'll post most of the stuff that I can on there. So yeah, follow along, it's gonna be a really cool book.